Uh, this is the time when the butterflies really start flying around your stomach. Uh, we're just coming up to the start line for the first stage and my brave co-driver here is just about to find out how terrible I am at stage rallying. The car, I must say, feels very strong and uh, plenty of power, but uh, it's the first time I've driven it in anger and just those uh, 20 feet back there, it does seem to move around on the road a lot. And since these roads are so narrow, there's very little room for error. Keep the right this bump. Oh, straggle this one. That's it. Not this one. Next one. Next one. With the limited slip diff pulling the mini around on the loose, I was finding the car a bit of a handful. OK, 90 right here. And the sharp bends needed a delicate touch on the handbrake. Something's off, be careful. Keep going, keep going, but just watch it. Car off there. Obviously, a Mini got it uh, very badly wrong on the loose. And there's no room for error because there's a big hole in the road. That's 90 slow. right here, Chris. Everybody down a bit. But I wasn't the only one Ooh. finding myself sideways. <laughs> Well, it's very slippy with all these ball bearings all over the place, and we've got rather hard tyres, a lot of these very modern tyres. We scattered a few spectators and ended up pointing down the road we wanted to go, so we didn't lose a lot of time. With a bit of practice round the stages, we were getting a bit quicker now, and I was getting the hang of the clubman's handling, its peaky engine and that narrow gear change gate. Much more impressive. Beside me, former European historic rally champion Paul Howcroft was occasionally tight-lipped as disaster threatened, but to his credit, he never screamed once. Very nice. With its full works, sub-guard, roll cage and rally suspension, I had few qualms about the rough surfaces, but I wondered how owners and drivers of the more valuable machines were able to subject their prized possessions to such violent batteries. I developed a nasty habit of jamming on the fly-off handbrake, which did some of our stage times no good at all. But as the event wore on and the shadows lengthened, we'd slipped only five places down the rally order, and on one stage, we'd been 14th fastest. Right here. Very yes. much indeed. Yeah. A very brave man. <laughs> well, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, what, what was I doing wrong on this event? I don't think you did very much wrong at all, Chris. I think you did very well. If you'd been used to the car, if you'd driven it every weekend or every other weekend, I think you would have been 10 seconds around faster easily. Paul, if you're going to do it again, let me know. I'd love to come along. Well, we didn't finish particularly high up the pecking order, and that was primarily due to driver failure, but it's been a very enjoyable event and an eye-opener as to just how hard these guys try in their historic rally cars.